Oh my god! This matchup's so exciting! Don't go anywhere! If you're on YouTube or Twitch, don't go anywhere. This is one of my favorite arena matchups, Civ Lies, that you could find in Age of Empires 2. And with 35 civs, and they're playing random, the odds of this happening is very low. I'm no math expert, so you'll have to figure out the exact de uh Yeah, I'm no math expert, okay? I'm no math expert, but this will be exciting stuff. Before we start, thank you, Carl. Glad you could make it, man. This is the perfect time to get here. Uh, Chinelli, thank you for the nine. We have our Twitch baby now, uh, Hovig. Thanks, thanks everyone. Uh, thank you, Nivida. Thank you, guys. Uh, for, for all the support. We have Goths for Dark Noob. Dark Noob is in the blue. And then we have Turks for Buddy. And Buddy had just beaten Dark Noob, but they're pretty closely rated if you look at their ratings there. Both Dark Noob and Buddy experienced on Arena. Okay. So, you guys are doing the math in the Twitch chat. Probably doing math in the YouTube comments for me as well, making me look bad. Let's talk about the game. Why do I like this so much? Okay, so Turks... This is a sieve that does not get trash upgrades, so that means they can make Fuelage Spearmen, they can make Fuelage Skirmishers, but they don't get the Elite Skirmisher upgrade, they don't get the Pikemen, they don't get the Halberdier upgrade. They are a sieve that relies mainly on gold, specifically Gunpowder. So if you're new to the game, I'll actually bring up the tech tree. Gunpowder units have more hit points, and also their gold miners work 20% faster. Additionally, their chemistry upgrade, which is normally what's required to uh, to research before you can make gunpowder, is free when they hit the Imperial Age. So they make a lot of gunpowder, and Goths can tend to struggle versus gunpowder, uh, because Goth is traditionally an infantry sieve. However, elite Huskarls with full upgrades can, and I always get this wrong, I think with three shots, they kill a hand cannon. And Goth Infantry creates instantly. So what we could potentially get to, and I hope I'm not going to hype up the situation for not to happen. What we could potentially get to, if Turks is going Gunpowder and Goths is going Infantry, is a Turk player has 20 to 30 hand cannons and he's pushing that across the map. But then the Goth player can make 100 Huskarls in an instant and it could actually push back the Gunpowder. Very rarely can infantry push back gunpowder because infantry is supposed to die to gunpowder but with goths it's possible um okay so i'm going to talk through the style of play that turks could utilize for this and then after we talk about that we could talk about how goths can deal with it because there's two styles that turks can adopt well okay i shouldn't necessarily say two there's a few but there's two traditional ones so first off uh, one is to go fast castle, as they normally would do on arena because they're safe behind their walls. And then build a castle. The castle keeps you safe, and then you can make your unique unit, the Janissary, out of the castle behind it. So that's a nice strat. Uh, another strat is to go for a fast Imperial, where you get to the Imperial Age as fast as possible, and start making hand cannons and bombard cannons. And uh, both of those strategies are actually fairly vulnerable against Goths because... Goths can always spam to push that back. So perhaps we'll see something different here from Buddy. Obviously, he'll, he'll probably still think about going with Gunpowder, but maybe he won't build the castle early. Maybe he won't go for a fast dim strat. Maybe it will be a traditional uh, fast castle build where he tries to get the relics by securing it with scouts of some kind. Uh, we'll see. Dark Noob. Well, I think there's two things he could do. He could build a stable and then go into what we call a boom. So he's just trying to add economy. Uh, the reason you add the stable is so you can make scouts to patrol around the map to kill any monks that are getting relics and get the relics for yourself. Um, so you could do that. Uh, what I like to do with Goths, and the reason I get excited about this is because I feel like it's such a an easy and fun build to play with, is you can actually fast castle, build your castle on the front, and I think Dark Noob might do it for us. You build the castle on the front, and then you, you simply boom behind. You don't worry about getting relics. You don't worry about anything else. You just build your castle to keep yourself safe in case your opponent makes army. And you get a ton of villagers. And once you get a ton of villagers, you can research, research anarchy in the castle. That allows you to create huskarls from the barracks. And literally everything that you would want 
can be spanned from your barracks. Champions, barracks. Pikemen, barracks. Huskarls, barracks. It's insane. Um, Map-wise, Dark Noob has definitely been utilizing his hacks. Must have used cheesesteak jimmies or something as well. Goodness. Look at this. He has his main gold in the back. His second gold's not ideal. His third gold's not ideal. But he has two freebies back here. There's normally two three-tile golds on every Age of Empires 2 map. And they're normally in the center, but on this version, they're in the back of his base. So that's even more reason to boom. That's even uh, more reason to not be aggressive for the map. I think he needs to give himself some time. And Oh, guys, we're in for a treat. Buddy's going to gold too. This is amazing. We might see exactly what I was talking about. I mean, not gold, stone, sorry. Um, Buddy might build the castle... And, and Dark Noob might build the castle, and we'll get to see the power of Goths versus Gunpowder. So, I covered pretty much everything that could possibly happen here. Well, that's not true. There's always something different that can happen in Age of Empires 2. But I, I covered a lot of it. And so if anything else happens, we can discuss it. But I'm pumped for this. I'm pumped to be casting to a 20-year-old game in front of 1,400 people. I hear on Twitch and however many people might watch this on YouTube significantly more. I'm, I'm blessed to be doing this. And I, I said on Twitter this morning, I woke up in a good mood. I don't know what it is. I just woke up in a good mood, excited to do this. And you guys have been good to me today. So thank you for that. The timing on the castle is so important. If you build the castle right away when you're in Castle Age... That means you won't have the stone for new TCs. So the only reason that you'd want to build the castle immediately in Castle H is if you feel like you're going to be pressured. And we can talk more about that here in a moment. The players are just about to hit feudal at the same time, by the way. Yep, blacksmith market, perfect. Is John Slow in the chat? Oh, what's up, John Slow? Nice to see you, man. John Slow had to send me the recorded games for the, uh, well, the game, most recent game on YouTube with the Spanish Inquisition. Thank you for that, man. Guys, uh, if John, if you see John Slow's username in my Twitch chat, you should click it and then click follow. He told me that if he gets 100 more followers this week, that he'll play a Force Nothing game on slow speed, Turks only. So, again, John Slow is in the chat right now. John Slow underscore. Check out his stream. He said he'll play Force Nothing for you, alright? Just give him 100 more followers. Isn't that right, man? <laughs> the, okay, half of that is, is true. The part where you can follow someone on Twitch is true. The other part's not. But don't tell him I said that. Okay, so four on gold for Buddy. This is definitely not the Fast Imp build. This is a, a castle build. The timing on the castle is huge. He doesn't have a ton of wood income, so this tells me that he'll be more aggressive, which probably should be the case. He should probably try and stop Gots from getting to that point where they can spam. And I imagine he'll build his castle more towards the front of his base. I think what Dark Noob needs to do is he needs to not build his castle immediately. He needs to add the, as many TCs as possible before the castle. Quality content. And then you time... You know what? You don't even build your castle on the front with Goths. Because you don't want your opponent to know that you're secure. You build your castle here. So Red has to break into your base. And then he goes, well, shoot. This guy's got a castle. That's what you have to do. Will you cast it, though? Oh, of course not. <laughs> of course not. I mean, I might. That, that's some quality clickbait. John Slow plays slow for us nothing. I, I might. But who are we kidding? I don't clickbait, so. So far, so good for Dark Noob. Nice TC. Notice how he had the stone for a castle. He didn't build it. Third TC. He needs to go for the next TC. Go for TCs first. Boom. This is all going as it should for Dark Noob. And for us. And for us, because we want to have a good time watching this. And now Buddy is building his castle on the front.
Why is he hitting wheelbarrow right now? This is going to be a very aggressive push from Buddy. If he's getting wheel, he doesn't have a second TC. Remember, the idea of creating extra town centers is to create more villagers, which will give you a payoff in resources later on. So currently, Dark Noob doesn't have as many resources in the bank because he's spending it, but he'll get more resources in return. Pretty good. Pretty darn good for Dark Noob right now. And here come the Janissaries for Buddy. So, John Slow, if you're watching this, what do you think of Buddy's approach right now? I'm just a bit confused because he... Okay, now he's taking villagers away from stone. He's a lot of villagers on stone. Will he add a second TC? I feel like he needs to add a second TC here. Where's he adding it? Oh, Monastery. Wow, this is ultra aggressive. He'll fall way behind in economy. Storm, thank you very much, man. Grin, thank you. Notice how Buddy does not see the castle? That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to do if you're in Dark Noob's shoes. One other thing about Turks is that their scouts upgrade to Light Cav for free, and then their Light Cavs upgrade to Hussar for free. It shouldn't play much of a role in this game, but that's why you see Light Cav here, for anyone that might be confused. Yeah, he did see the Stone Miners, and he's experienced enough where he should probably know what's going on here. The question is, how does he deal with it? And I think the answer is he'll go fast imp. See how many villagers he's sending to gold? Second mining camp, no extra TC. He, he wants to go aggressive. He wants to eventually build another forward castle and push this with gunpowder and trebs. And realistically for Dark Noob, he will not be able to get to the Imperial Age to push this back. Because he's invested so much of his food income into the production of villagers. So what that means is... If Dark Noob wins this game, he will need to push it back in uh, in Castle Age, which is totally realistic. Because again, Goth infantry is very cheap, but what Dark Noob will need to do is he'll need to eventually build barracks and research anarchy in his castle. He can't afford to do all that right now, and the time's a ticking, but that's what he'll have to go for. This is why I love Goths on Arena. Like this matchup is so fascinating to me because because what Dark Noob is going to have is going to be, or sorry, what Buddy's going to have is going to be an awful lot for his opponent to deal with. Because that's a lot of gunpowder, but it's it's possible for Goths to push this back. No, it wouldn't be a good idea to go Knights. No, the, the better approach would be to go Huskarl. Huskarl's, I, I, I think... That Janissaries are actually worse for his Huskarls than hand cannons are. Can anyone confirm that to, for me? That, there's something like that. But anyway, uh, Barracks is definitely the way to go. Like, Goths don't have any direct bonuses towards Knights. Whereas they can they can, they have a discount on their infantry and they can spam they can spam them as well. I declare bankruptcy! All hyped for Hidden Cup 2. Dude, I'm hyped for this game right now as well. This isn't even a tournament. And look, Buddy's on the way up to the next stage. For him, this is all part of his plan. He wants to build a castle on the front. Notice how Dark Noob, he's not close to clicking up. I think the decision here is to research Anarchy and push this back in Castle Age if you're Dark Noob. If you try and wait for Imp, you could lose a lot of ground here. Jaxu, thank you, man. Thank you. You've been a huge supporter of the channel recently. And everything's happening! It's almost like... It's almost like... My wildest dream has come true in this game. Everything I talked about in the beginning is happening. Everything. All the possibilities that I, I uh, thought would happen or could happen is happening for us, guys. It's perfect. Man, you should have heard me cast when I first started. <laughs> like, three years ago, if I was casting this game, I'd be like, Oh, this Dark Noob guy is... Is making Huskarls versus hand cannons. That doesn't make any sense. Um, we'll, we'll see. Um, what happens? Um, you know, I, it took a long time for me to get this, you know, to get the, the meta down, to, to really understand the game. 
It's what happens when you, you play a lot and you cast a lot. So he's getting arson as well. Hmm. He needs houses. He needs houses. Lots and lots of houses for pop space. Yep, there we go. And he needs to he needs to be very patient. It's very easy to freak out here and start fighting 20 with 20. You need to fight 60 with 20. You need to be very patient. And Buddy, if he loses his army, he's dead. There's no, like, comeback situation here. It's all in. So he has to kill as fast as possible. So, Janissaries, Trebs, and he's also getting a few relics, which is really nice. That's a lot of Janissaries. That is a lot of gunpowder. And Dark Noob is making the infantry. He's still housed, though. He needs to get his houses up. You create infantry so quick with Goths, and it's so cheap that you easily run out of pop space. And he'll he'll also run out of pop space when he loses this castle. The castle's gonna go down. So he needs he needs more villagers building houses. And I like the patience he's had. When he does come out to fight this, I would like to see him delete all of his walls, because otherwise it provides a nice little choke point for Red to stand in. What does Turks mix in to counter the flood that can overwhelm their gunpowder? Well, nothing now. The strat is you have to go all in like this. He doesn't you notice his economy. Don't even look at the farms. It's not the problem. The resources. When you only have 45 vills and you you go imp that fast and build this many castles you and this many trebs, you just don't have resources. And oh, look at this. Here come the Huskarls. And Buddy's trying to wall it off. And Buddy does wall it off. But now the walls are being deleted. Here come the Huskarls. Now, this is extremely awkward for the Huskarls. Half of them haven't even reached their desired target yet because of the walls. But the Trebs are surely going to go down. And, okay, kill the Treb, for the love of God. Kill the Treb and then surround the Janissaries. Now watch the Janissaries. They just melt to the hand cannon. I mean, not to the hand cannons. They're like a version of a hand cannon. To the Huskarls. And now the Rams come out. The Husk girls keep pumping, the castle's gonna go down, and ladies and gentlemen, that's the game. That is the game. Sure, Turks, they have gunpowder. Sure, it's extremely strong. But freaking Husk girls on Arena, man, with this strategy, it's so strong. And there's no way Red can come back now, as I said. There's just no way. He doesn't have the eco. That was incredibly well played from Dark Noob. I talked about it in Dark Age. I said, you know, this this is the potential. And I was talking about the ideal, right? It, it's very hard to execute this when you're under pressure. But he executed that almost perfection. From, from the economy to the timing on the castle. Remember I said if he built that too early, it slowed down his eco. The timing of the attack. He kept his castle up. All that was perfect. Uh, really well played. I think the... The, the strategy from Buddy was was implemented to perfection, but it's probably the wrong strat in this matchup. I think it's a tempting strategy with Turks to go for here, but I, I think it's perhaps the wrong strategy. I, I think that maybe the safest strat is to just boom to Imp and then, you know, fight off with gunpowder, champions, whatever. Um, I mean, I, I can understand the thought process behind this one. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it can definitely work, Buddy just just didn't have enough but i think that it's a bit too risky and goths are so good at pushing that back in castle age that perhaps you need to go with something else sweet game maybe not the longest game but in terms of content in terms of of uh i think talking points it was near perfect 38 kills for dark noob uh, 39 largest army and uh, you can see the food and wood difference he didn't really need to rely on the gold and stone as much he just needed one castle to get his unique tech and then he needed the resources for those huskarls <clears throat> that that is so much fun guys um some of my best memories of playing is when i used to play as a lower rated player and i learned that build and I would choose Goths when someone would choose... And then someone else would choose Turks because we didn't have Hidden Civ back then. 
and I, I would I would just get so happy because I knew that they'd think that they could make Imperial Age gunpowder. They could go fast imp. And I knew that I could spam enough infantry to kill it. It's just so rare that you see that matchup nowadays. And it's it's going to be rare to ever see a game play out that perfectly again based off what I said in, in Dark Age. Uh, because, it is, again, it was pretty much exactly what I had said. So you probably know by now, but if you saw that one on YouTube, because that is definitely going to YouTube at some point, and you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream in the future, the Twitch link is below in the video description, as well as my social medias and whatnot. If you like to get involved, follow me on Twitter or, you know, whatever. It's it's all there. I forgot what else I was going to say. What else do we say? Hi, Mom? I think we say hi, Mom, right? Because Mom watches YouTube. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Okay. And they're going to play more. Nice. That was a cool game. They're going to play 